Hello and welcome to Weekly MTG, the only show coming to you from inside Wizards of the Coast headquarters in Renton, Washington. I'm your host, and I'm the only person on the show today, Blake Rasmussen. And the reason I am the only person on the show is because today, one of my favorite shows, we're just opening stuff up. Commander Legends is uh, releasing next week. There are pre-releases this weekend. So uh, if you want to know what the what's in the different boosters, we even have a Commander deck that we can open up to get a look at. Uh, this is the show for you because you'll get a sense of what you'll crack based on what type of booster. Uh, and then you can kind of figure out what you want to open. So uh, as you can see um, down, I think down at the bottom, maybe not yet, um, we're going to do pack opening and Q&A. So if you have questions throughout the show, just throw them in chat and I will answer them as best I can. But in the meantime, we are going to start with the collector boosters because I have two of those and they're the most exciting. Uh, then we'll probably circle through the set boosters and then back to draft boosters where we'll do a little little faux drafting and see what we'd pick. I actually didn't get to do, um, oh yeah, news, as producer Sean reminds me. I'm so excited to open packs, I just want to skip this. Uh, but let's not skip it because exciting for some people is that the starter decks are coming out and that is not their name. I'm going to pull this up so I don't forget it. Um, so the Magic the Gathering 2022 starter kits are releasing this weekend. So if you're looking to get someone into Magic, or if you haven't actually uh, started playing Magic yourself and you're just tuning in because you're curious, the starter kits are a great place to start. Uh, they contain two ready-to-play 60-card decks. So one of them's white-blue, one of them's red-green. Uh, we all know which one I would play. Uh, it's got a guide. Uh, two deck boxes, it has five rare cards, and then the uh, cool thing is there's codes for both people to unlock the decks on MTG Arena as well. All right, so let's talk about what's in these packs. Uh, I see the question, how many rare and mythic slots in the new set booster and collector boosters since they're extra cards? So the cool things about, the, uh, one of the cool things about the Commander Legends boosters is that there are a bunch of dedicated slots that, uh, not that they don't care about rarity, but where all rarities can show up. So in the slot, you can get anything from a common or an uncommon. Sometimes it's a, a rare or a mythic rare because that slot is dedicated to a legendary something. Um, and so you can open up multiple rares in a draft booster, in a set booster. In a collector booster, you will open multiple rares. Uh, so it kind of varies, and we'll talk about those as we come to them. So let's talk about collector boosters first. So now on the back of each collector booster, ooh, nice, boo, little boo token. You're going to get a, a double-sided token. Now each double-sided token is going to have a token on one side. Here's the boo. And then on the back side, it's going to have treasure. There's a lot of ways to make treasure in this set. So every token is going to have treasure on the back, with the exception of the dungeon and initiative token, which will have the dungeon on one side and the initiative helper card on the other side. Uh, we'll show one of those off when we open it. Uh, so boo, treasure, that's our first token. Oh, oh, boo. All right, so each one of these, we're gonna start off with three commons. So we got a little dragon, we got a foil deadly dispute, that's nice. We got a stirring bard. All right, starting off, make sure that everyone can see these. Okay, start off with three commons. Then we're gonna move into two uncommons. Nice little bag of holding there and a Burnished Heart. There's some, maybe there's some pretty good hits. Uh, then we're going to move into a foil basic land. And of course, in the D&D world, they have, uh, there we go, um, they have flavor text. And then we move into foil rulebook frame. So these are going to be common or uncommon in this slot. Uh, but there's a lot of cool hits here, including the diamonds. So charcoal diamond is a good one there. Uh, then we're going to hit two slots, which are going to be commons or uncommon, or they're going to, sorry, they're legendary slots. So they can be whatever, but there's a regular foil, a traditional foil legendary, and then a uh, etched foil legendary. So you'll get traditional foil, etched foil. Then you're going to get a foil, rare or mythic from the main set. Could be any rare or mythic from the main set, traditional foil. Then you're going to get extended art. The first one's going to be a card from one of the commander decks. 
The second one is going to be a card from the main set. So a little extender our displacer kit, and both of those are non-foil. Then we're going to get into foil etched, and then non-foil um, fancy slot is what I like to call it, and then foil fancy slot. So these are going to vary a little bit here. Um, so this is one of the fire favorites, for example, that's borderless completely, and this is an extended art foil. So we'll see some of the variations in those slots as we go along. Uh, the list update has not come out. I believe it's coming out tomorrow. And uh, the Stibs who's in chat can Yeah, tomorrow, early next week, there was a little holdup with the list where we had to re-verify some stuff, but it'll be out soon. All right, so again, three... Yeah, i got to make sure I do this. Three commons. Uncommons, that's an ambitions cost. That's pretty nice. Cast down. And then we come to foil land. And then again, rule book frame. So foil rule book frame. We got a Mahati Emporium Master. And then foil legend. Ooh, Wilson, refined grizzly in the etched foil legend slot. Then we've got, again, the any rare mythic in the set foil. In this case, Elminster's Simulacrum. It's a mythic. And then the Spectacular Showdown, again, Commander Extended Art. And then here, ooh, that's a nice Sea of Clouds. Uh, that's going to be from the main set. And then Etched. This is going to be, and this is, I think I may have misspoken. This is an Etched Legendary slot, rare or mythic rare. And then again, Non-Foil Fancy. So again, you'll see here we have a Non-Foil Nine Fingered Keen. Rare or Mythic, again, in this slot. And then the last one, Foil, Fancy. In this case, Rulebook Frame, Rare or Mythic. Uh, and this is the Undercity token. So Undercity Foil, and then on this side, Initiative Helper. To let you know how the initiative works. Goes right with the dungeon. All right, let's keep going. Um, let's see. No news on the Netflix series. Uh, Dominaria United comes out in early September, correct? Why does the SNC Master Pass only go to 70? Um, I believe the reason for that is that um, uh, Alchemy Horizons Battle for Baldur's Gate will be the next Mastery Pass. I'm not 100% on that, but that is the next set coming out on Arena. All right. We got a Knight. Treasure. We got... Three commons, a carefree swine master, parasitic impetus, pseudo dragon familiar. I like that it's a pseudo dragon, but it's but it's a creature type dragon. All right. Uh, yes, all of these piles are the different slots in the deck, not necessarily types. So um, I'll go through these again, basically with every pack. So commons, two uncommons. Ooh. So here, here's another cool thing about this set. Um, Arcane Signet, which everybody needs, uncommon here. So that uncommon slot is going to hold some cool things. Uh, command Tower in this set is a common. So that slot right there is going to have your Command Towers. Uh, no news on Infinity right now. Marching Duo Drone. What's up? That's a happy little duo drone. All right. And, and whenever I mention a legendary slot, by the way, so these are both legendary slots, that includes the backgrounds. So characters or backgrounds, basically anything in the set that could be your commander. Ganax Astral Hunter in the etched. And then Gorgut's Boss. So this is again the foil from foil rare or mythic from the main set. It can be anything. And then we've got the commander extended arts. So Furkrog. A lot of guttural sounds in this set. Cunning instigator. Oh, and morphic pool. Those are those are some good hits on the. Uh... All right, and then the etched legendary slot. Raphael fiendish savior. The non-foil, again, non-foil fancy, so it's uh, any of the booster fun types. 
uh, which mostly are going to be rule book frame, but can, as you saw, um, be like fire favorites. Zevlor. And then, ooh, that's nice as well. And then Foil Fancy, again, can be any number of the treatments. In this case, Foil Extended Spire Garden. Yeah. Um, SNC Mastery Pass ending when Baldur's Gate comes to Arena. You know, I'm not entirely sure on the details on that, so rather than saying something wrong, um, I will I will say that I believe that's true, but I'm not I'm not sure. Um, you can definitely ask the question of our Arena Twitter account. Draconic Lore, Goliath Paladin, Arcane Encyclopedia. Sailor's Bane, Forest. Ooh, there we go. Let's see, and another. This is a Lightning Bolt. It's at common in this set. And so this slot right here, which has the foil common rulebook, you can get that foil Lightning Bolt. And then foil Legendary, etched foil Legendary, and a little foil Kindred Discovery. That's nice. here. Uh, commander card. Archivist of Ochma. Halfling Cleric. That's this card's probably gonna I'm probably gonna look to play this in Canlander a little bit. Uh, Will Blade of Frontiers as our etched foil rare. Volo, Idrin Scholar, the non foil Fancy Rare Mythic. And then Wrathful Red Dragon. And one thing to note, uh, if you aren't aware, so all of these styles can be opened in any type of booster pack except the extended art. So the ones you see with the extended art on the side, those are collector booster exclusives. All right, I'm going to open two more collector boosters, and then we'll shift to some of the other types of boosters. Three rows of four. Yeah, I can do that. I can do that. One, two, three, four. Let's see, make sure they're all on screen. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. All right, let's open up some other packs. Couple more of these, and then we'll switch to set and draft boosters. There you go. Good suggestion. Thanks. All right. Little token. We got a sapperling. It's a freaky looking sapperling. Good times. Sky diamond. This is this is. I'm so happy that these are in uh, a common in this set. I've got I've got sky diamond in foil for my all foil Azami deck, um, but I don't for other decks because they're a little harder to find. But you know what? Not so much anymore. And Juvenile Mist Dragon. Yep. We have Vicona Drow Apostate. Renari Merchant of Marvels, and the foil legendary slot, etched foil legendary slot, commons and uncommons. We got a popular entertainer, which is the background. Uh, that is the main set foil slot. Death Kiss as the commander extended non-foil slot. Main set non-foil extended slot, wheels reversal. And we got the etched Shadowheart Dark Justicier for the etched foil rare or mythic. Alondo the Seer for the non-foil fancy. And John, John Irenicus, Shattered One for the foil fancy. And so again, you can see some of the diversity in that last slot where it's, it's foil and it's fancy. Um, you know, we didn't see it here. It is possible, for example, to get um, the Fire Favorites in foil in that slot. So 
um, is just kind of all of the treatments in foil, rare or mythic, in that last slot. All right, we'll do one more of these. And then, all right, token, goat, eating a boot. All right, common, common. The gates are common, which is great. If you're making a gate stack, gates are great. Two uncommons, swamp, uh, Halson Emerald Archdruid for the foil rulebook frame, and then foil legendary, regular foil legendary, etched foil legendary. And then foil main set rare or mythic commander exclusive extended main set non foil extended etched foil I really like the etched foil on these closer yeah etched foils are some of my favorite foilings that we've done. Miracle, Lord of Bones, non-foil fancy, and finally, foil fancy, Eldritch Pact. All right, let's do set boosters. Let's do some set boosters. All right, the set booster setup uh -huh, is going to be pretty familiar to anyone who has opened set boosters before for other sets. I'm gonna, let's see how many times I can say set. Set boosters in this set are going to be set up in a set fashion. That's as far as I can go. As far as I can take that. All right. What is my favorite creature type in magic? Um, wizard, maybe? Maybe elemental. It's a tough one. Okay. So, art card. So Raphael, fiendish savior. So there's going to be. A, we'll we'll try to open a couple different variations on what these look like. Um, let's. We're going to leave the collector booster stuff here. We're going to do like this. That's not going to be confusing at all. Uh, no, we're not. We're gonna, we're going to slide this stuff out of the way. Make some room, so we can look at set boosters. Okay, set boosters. All right. So we got that. We got a basic land. We got some showcase. We got some commons. That's my picture. There we go. Do it like this. I'm not left handed, but it'll do. Some uncommons. We got an uncommon legendary. Another uncommon legendary. A few legendaries. We got some backgrounds. We got an etched foil. So you see, you can get etched foils in the set boosters. Here's a rare. Caves of Chaos Adventure, and a foil with foot boots, and then a regular token. The regular tokens are not double-sided. Not double-sided. Um, the list will be coming soon. Uh, we had an issue with the data set, and so it got a little bit delayed, but it'll probably be up um, tomorrow or early next week. Okay. All right, because the butcher. These art cards are great. So again, you see two of the rule book frames. We got some commons. We got some uncommons, some dragons. We got, uh, oh, we're still in the uncommon slot. Um, and then we got some legendaries. And then we got etched foil. Got a rare Duke Older Raven Guard, foil Black Dragon Gate, copy token. Yeah, the art cards are really cool. Now you'll see not all the art cards are rule book frame. So, and that, and this is one of the variations on it. So, uh, the ones that have art for some of the monsters on them, and we did this for AFR as well. Uh, they have their stats on the back, and these are the actual stats from D&D. &D. 
It's looking at me. It's looking at me. It's a nice lightning bolt. That's good. A lot, a lot of people are going to want those. We got some commons. Got some uncommons. I'm definitely just, I'm just going to put all the uncommons in one pile. Even though there's some legendaries mixed in there. And we've got a Nira Wild Mage as a rare. Um, and so here's where you see, so that was one of the legendary slots. So I kind of mashed them together because I wasn't following along very well. Um, but there are legendary slots that, so far we've had commons and uncommons, um, but you can't get rares there. So this is going to be a multi-rare pack. So we have an etched foil, and then we, so maybe what I'll do is I'll put that there because that was in the legendary slot. And then we have the rare Owlbear Club. Look at that. Two rares. Woo! So three rares in that one pack. That can happen. That can happen. Boo. 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 All right. Got some Jeff D art. See, I think if, so I think, eh, I'm not going to say that because I'm not 100% sure. So you'll see there's a little variation up front. And again, so this is another slot, and I think we, we spoiled the next card sliding it over there a little bit, but that's fine. Uh, so this edge foil, again, it can be a rare. In this case, we have Glunch the Bestower. And then we hit Minsk and Boo, Timeless Hero. And then our foil. Hypothetically, oh, well, if you want to know one card that's on the list, <laughs> um, even though we haven't published the list yet, uh, Endric Sar, Master Breeder, is going to be on the list. So uh, that last slot, if it's not a token, uh, will be a card from the list. So here's one. There you go. You know, one card from the list. Okay. All right, so here's one of the other variations I want to talk about. So uh, some percentage of the collector booster tokens will have a um, foil signature on them. So this token, for example, would come in this version with the foil signature and a version without. And the ones with this foil signature are a bit more rare. And you can have your stats on the back as well. So yeah, that, and that's the artist signature, by the way. So island... More Marching Drone, Miracle Z deck, Miracles Invoker, Scion of Halister. Got some commons, got some uncommons, and some gates. Some legendaries. There's a mythic rare in the, oops, yep. So again, Volo. And then Baylor. so we're up to two rares or mythics in that pack. Our high watermark so far was three plus a list card. And then now the one exception to the to single-sided token rule is that uh, the Undercity will always have the initiative on the back, even in non-foil. All right, we'll do a couple more of these. And then we'll move. So it's always, when you open a pack like this and you see the met, that means it's from the list. It's not a token. We'll get to that. All right, so Chain Devil got the stats. Got a Mountain, got a Mahdi, Emporium Master, Sky Diamond, nice, Moss Diamond, get all the diamonds, Fire Diamond, <laughs> Charcoal Diamond, are we just, and they're all different colors too, Sky Diamond, we're not going to hit the, the Pentfecta, sure, that's nice, Sky Diamond, Moss Diamond, Fire Diamond, Charcoal Diamond, why not, why not, they're all related. We got, so here again, legendary slot, so one rare. Edged foil, two rares. Main set, three rares. Foil slot, four rares. Four rares and a list card. All right, this is Brynolin the Moon Kraken from uh, Commander Legends. Not, not bad. A little foil bountiful promenade. Yeah, four rares. 
Four rares. All right, four rares, four diamonds. Good stuff. All right. Um, one more, and then we'll do draft boosters. Boom. Throwing garbage on them. All right. Um, good. I'm glad we opened one of these because this is to show that that basic land slot most of the time is going to be non-foil, but it can be foil. So we got a foil island in this one. Commander Liara Potier. Cagda Shadow Arch Druid. We got another diamond run. Yep, moss diamond, fire diamond, charcoal diamond. Why not? Diamonds for everyone, man. Diamonds, diamonds, diamonds. It is worth noting that the um, the commons in that slot tend to be related, so that's probably why those are together. All right, and then edged foil. We got the rare Ravenloft adventure, and then the foil you've been caught stealing, soldier token. All right. Um, the cards in the list have not been revealed, and again, that's, like I said, we had a little bit of an error with that, and so um, they will be up soon, either tomorrow or early next week. We got a couple, couple issues with those. All right. Draft boosters. Draft boosters. Now, this set is meant to be drafted. It's meant to be drafted. And so we're gonna look at these. And so there's a couple, if you aren't familiar, there are a couple different features about the draft boosters and the draft itself that make drafting Commander Legends unique. So uh, if you don't know, this little insert will tell you all about it. So it'll also tell you archetypes. Um, but this will tell you how to draft this set. So uh, a couple key differences. You're going to have 60 cards, including your commander. Um, you don't have to worry about singleton, uh, because even though this is commander, it's draft. So uh, whatever you draft can be played. Color identity rules do apply. Um, you'll, ha you'll have to draft your commanders. So you'll probably want to draft them early. But you always have this uh, the faceless one. So the faceless one is not actually drafted but it's it's kind of like a basic land in that you can just include it uh, you don't have to draft it um, but if you end up drafting a deck and you don't get a commander that fits one of your colors or whatever you can do um, the faceless one all right and the other thing is you're going to draft two cards in a pack and the packs are 20 cards so let's let's see what we draft out of this pack Mm -hmm. Are the list cards rare at minimum, like SNC? Uh, I'm not entirely sure what you're asking, but if you mean if you just mean the symbol, no. Uh, Brinolins and uncommon, for example. Mm -hmm. All right, they just feel thick, like way thicker at 20 cards. Okay, let's see. We got Avenging Hunter. An initiative card, Draconic Lore, Armor of Shadows, Ice Wind Stowart. Move this down to make sure we can see all of these. Sorry, Goat, I need you out of the way. Got a Breath Weapon, Circle of the Land of Druid, Cloak of the Bat, Citadel Gate, Druidic Ritual, Evolving Wilds. Move this out of the way, too. Um, we're going to try to make better use of the space. 20 cards is a lot. All right, Genius Artillerist, Clockwork Fox, Cast Down, Iron Mastiff, Skullport Merchant, Halson, Emerald Arch Druid, Dragon Cultist as a background, uh, Monster Manual as a rare, Pegasus Guardian as a foil. All right, chat. I mean, we think we're drafting here. Um, there's there's some benefit to grabbing legendary creatures earlier, so you know exactly what you're drafting around. So um, you know we could take Halson um, and plan on going green. We could take some Dragon Cultist um, to try to make some dragons. Dragon Cultist seems fairly powerful. 
Um, I'm a big fan of Skullport Merchant generally. It's going to do a lot of work in a set that can do treasures, um, that has a lot of treasures. Uh, I like the gates. There are some gate synergies, and they also are pretty good mana fixing, and they let you do that. But it does, um, you know, they, they lock you into at least one color. Um, Evolving Wilds fixes mana, but doesn't lock you into color. So we've got one vote for Forcing Dragons. Uh, I think if we were Forcing Dragons, we might do something like Dragon Cultist plus Breath Weapon. Would actually be a pretty good first two picks. Um, you could always take Cast Down. Um, you could also... I mean, Avenging Hunter gives you the initiative when it enters the battlefield. It's a dragon, too. So we could do something like Avenging Hunter Breath Weapon. Um, you know, Dragon Avenging Hunter is also a 5-4, so it deals 5 damage. So uh, having Dragon Cultist plus Avenging Hunter might be pretty good. Those two combined would be pretty strong. Um, Monster Manual's fine. I think Monster Manual is a better constructed card um, the the adventure card in limited is probably more likely to miss and then um, otherwise it's it's six total manual mana to get a creature into play um, you've really got to have a bunch of high casting cost stuff for a monster manual to be worth it in draft um, they're off the top of the yeah there we go yeah get those down um, so I think I would probably do something like Avenging Hunter Dragon Cultist here. Um, either that, or if I wanted to stick in red, I could also do Dragon Cultist Breath Weapon. It would be pretty good. So let's say, yeah, I mean, if we draft both legendaries, we're saying we want to be in red-green. And they don't not work together but they don't work amazingly together. Like, this creates 4-4 four, four tokens. This turns tokens into 4-4s. Four, They're already 4-4s. Four, um, this works better with treasure, certainly. So, I mean, we could even do something like this and try to go, you know, black-green treasure, but that's a little narrow. Um, so I think here I would take Dragon Cultist, which is pretty strong, and then either Breath Weapon or Avenging Hunter. Yeah, or I could do like a Skullport Merchant, just because I, I do think Skullport Merchant is probably the strongest just card in a vacuum in this pack. But I think, think there's a lot of ways you could go. Pegasus Guardian, if you want to do some Blink stuff, which you can do in this set, but I think it's a little behind the others power level-wise. All right, let's see what else we got here. Let's see what else we got here. All right. All right. Contact other planes. A little blue draw spell. Chain Devil. Scouting Hawk. Reckless Barbarian. Edder Cap. Sky Diamond. Yeah, let's do this. All right. Ooh, fancy Lightning Bolt. Again, showing some of the, you can get some of the other styles in the draft boosters. Sea Hag, Parasitic Impetus, Little Pegasus Guardian, Insufferable Balladeer, Mystery Key, Emerald Dragon, Bone Collar Cleric, Veteran Soldier, Ooh, Mazzy, True Sword Paladin. And then the rare, Traverse the Outlands, which gets a bunch of basic lands. Foil is Ambitious Dragonborn. We got a little, a little ox token. Hmm. I mean, Mazzy's certainly interesting. It does... I don't know that there are enough enchantments in in this set to make that a reliable strategy. Like enough auras, I should say. There are definitely enough enchantments. Um, 
So we could take Lightning Bolt, even though this is Commander, it's Draft Commander, so things like Lightning Bolt are still going to be uh, pretty powerful. Um, you know, Sky Di the Diamonds are all going to be good. Two Mana Acceleration is great. Um, you know, Dragons are strong. Bone Collar Cleric is pretty good. Veteran Soldiers are pretty decent backgrounds. We could go that direction. I think I would probably, man. This one's tough. There's nothing that immediately sends that. I'd probably go, if you take Lightning Bolt and Gate, those are like the safest picks. But you're pretty much saying I'm gonna draft Black Red. And maybe we wanna do that, maybe we don't. Um, Mazzy, again, I'm not sure there's enough support in the set itself for auras. I mean, Parasitic Impetus, there are the Impetuses, um, but they're spread across the five colors. Um, for example, we couldn't even use this one. So the other option is Skydime. We could also do this um, and just have... Oh, no, we can't play both of them. Mazzy doesn't, Mazzy doesn't choose a background. Mazzy has a background. So I guess I would probably do Sky Diamond Lightning Bolt. It's, that's just probably the safest pick. Or like Lightning Bolt Black Dragon. It's so, that's such a boring pick, though. we got to do another one of these. That's, that's boring. Yeah, Green Ramp's always good. Um, two Mana Ramp's always good. Lightning Bolt's just so efficient. Yeah, the light, also, like, how can you not take this lightning bolt? How can you not? Phil Stone knocked that one out of the park. All right. Let's do another draft. All right, we got some Undercity tokens here, so we know what we're doing on that side of things. All right, we got Dream Fracture. Murder. Minimus Containment. Murder and Minimus Containment, already strong picks. Earth Tremor, Sylvanas Invoker, Decanter of Endless Water, Recruitment Drive, Nimble Right Schematic, Genasi Enforcer, Oceanus Dragon, Thieves Tools, Your Temple is Under Attack, so there's the faceless one. And you can just, yeah, we'll put that over. I'm not going to take it, but it's in there. Brock, Rescuer, Twinga. Um, Severok, Deathbringer. Agent of Shadow Thieves. And we got two rares here. Um, all right, so... Zevlor Eltral Exile. Uh, when you cast your next instant or sorcery spell that targets a single opponent or a single permanent opponent controls this turn, for each other opponent, choose that player or a permanent they control, copy that spell, copy targets. Um, and then Agent of Shadow Thieves, we couldn't use with that. Um, Descend into Avernus is really cool, but I don't think it's what we want to draft. I'm inclined to do something like Zevlor plus Murder. Um, we'll move this out of the way. Uh, those two work really well together. Zevlor is just, um, or Murder is just a solid removal spell. Kills anything, kills legendary creatures. Um, they're in the same colors. You could also, if you wanted to get spicy, um, Saravok and Death, Saravok Deathbringer gets to choose a background. Agent of Shadow Thieves. Um, they can work pretty well together. They don't explicitly have synergy, but there's enough going on there that that could be a pretty good start to a black deck. Um, but then, of course, you're passing murder to the person to your right and a Zevlor, which if someone took these two, that, that would be the next spot I'd go if I got this pack passed to me. Um, so I would go with murder and Zevlor. Yeah, murder plus Zevlor. All right. 
Now I will say that does kind of lock you in. So if you wanted some more flexibility, you could also do like Savrock, Deathbringer, and Murder, which lets you be black plus a background, which gives you flexibility on what your second color is going into the next pack. So that's not a bad option either. All right, let's do, we're going to do, I'm going to open up one of the commander decks, and then for the last 20-ish 20 20 minutes, we'll do chat's choice of what you all want to see. So we got a little zip, and then we pop this open. All right, and as you can see, there's some counters on the side. You can pop those out and use them. Um, lots of cool parts of this that you can use. And then you open this up. And again, we started doing this with SNC, but uh, keep in mind there's a collect your booster sample pack in here. So these are relatively new. So we'll open up one of these again. These are two card packs, just to get a little, a little sample, a little sample of what it's like to open a collector booster. So two cards um, and a token, or in this case an ad card. So we get an Elder Brain extended and a foil moss diamond. So there's always going to be a foil and a non-foil, and they can be various things. Um, in this case, extended elder brain, foil moss diamond. Not bad. All right, and then, yeah. And then the rest of this is, it's a commander deck. Exactly what it sounds like. Uh, there's a cool life counter in here. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, 20 on one side, 40 on the other. So don't look at this and be like, ah, oh, why they do 20? This is 40. You can do it on both sides. Uh, it goes 21 to 40 on the back side. So it's for all your life total needs. Yeah. And then, of course, the commander deck itself. It's in here. All right. And then, all right, chat. Yes, that was the Dr Draconic commander. If you want to see more of that deck, I can't open it up. But... Uh, the list is online. All right, what do we want to see? More collector boosters? Mm, he says, not leading the audience at all. Let's do more collector boosters. Collector boosters are sweet. Um, but I will do set or draft boosters if the audience should request it. All right, get, get my little categories back out here. I'm impressed I had these memorized so well. Go me. All right. Well, at least finish this collector. Yeah. Yeah. Collector boosters. Good job, chat. Rastmusen. That's uncomfortably close to my name. All right. Foil tokens. Get up here. Get up here, foil tokens. Put you down here. All right. Let's see what we get in these collector boosters. All right. Foil murder. Foil moss diamond. Foil recruitment drive. Mystery Key, Cone of Cold, Planes, Goggles of Night. So, Foil, Etched Foil, Tavern Brawler, Foil Rare from the set, Extended Art, Commander Deck card, Extended Art Main Deck card, Popular Entertainer for the... Oh, we got... Wow. So many Minskin Boo... Wait. Oh, we opened the Minskin Boo. That was the set boosters. Yeah. Anyway, set booster. And then foil, rule book, frame, clunch. So many Minsk. So many diamonds. So many Minsk. So little time. Will I be opening the double masters boosters at all? Yeah. We do these shows for every set. Because I think it's I think it's useful for people to see. To actually see. It's one thing to like read an article about what's in all of these. Totally different thing to see it. And feel like you're opening it. You'll get a sense of what looks good to you. Corlesa, Scale Singer. There's so many good dragons in this set. I have a an Ur Dragon deck. And I just, I don't know that I can fit everything in there anymore. Duke Older Raven Guard. Open some 
one of these. Like this card, it, one of the things that's nice about this set is it has cheaper dragons. Um, you know, the Ur Dragon obviously reduces cost, so the fact that this doesn't have colorless in its cost is actually unfortunate. But it's also a two mana dragon, which the deck is sorely lacking. So something like that's probably going to make it. <sighs> yeah, there's just the, like all of the. Um, the ancient dragons could make it in. It's just, and I was having some hard. I was having a hard time making cuts after Adventures in the Forgotten Realms. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do now. Sky Diamond. Yeah, that's. I'm, I'm gonna put those in some decks. Da, da, da. Again, I think this card's gonna be really good in some higher powered formats. Bane, Lord of Darkness. Lazel Valskis, Champion, and ooh, Foil Extended Blade of Cells. Myriad for days. Uh, why are the Elder Dragons in this set not legendary creatures? You know, I don't know. Um... I was not part of that, and I also don't know D&D &D well enough. Uh, I bet. Um, so we've got a couple. No, we've got, I think, I want to say one more Discord event coming up. That Yeah, there you go. Join the official Magic Discord. I bet you can find the answer there. Uh, we've got an event coming up. You can probably get that answer from one of the designers. I love the art on this. Lulu Loyal Holly Bond. It's an elephant angel. Why not? Why not? Some Lolo from the catacombs. Illithid Harvester. Shadowheart Dark Justicier. And Londo the Seer. Yeah, the, that's true. The next uh, Discord event is on the D&D Discord. Uh, and they might have some insight on that. I mean, I if I had to guess, and it's purely just a guess, I would say it's because those dragons are not unique dragons in the world of D&D. Like, there's not one ancient copper dragon that there are multiples. I don't know, Sean, you know D&D better than I do. That is my guess. That would be Sean's guess as well. Fireball, it's one of the first cards we revealed. Also just super cool in the rule book frame. Oh, we doubled up. Little, little foil, little edge foil of all. Yeah, cool, Lord of Bones. All right, cool. So we hadn't gotten one of these, but this is the um, foil, uh, full art, borderless, fire favorite. So that can come in that foil slot too. So again, to look at the variety, there's extended art, there's rule book frame, and then you've also got the fire favorites. All right, we got one more collector booster. Toss that over there. Yeah, Chad, that's that's my guess as well because they they are not named. named dragons. They're just that type of dragon. Just an ancient dragon. An singular ancient dragon. They're still very old. But there's a couple of them. A few of them running around. That's, that's fire. Ah, ha, ha, ha. As the kids would say. Loot Dispute. Just one of the more fun names to say. Then we got Extended Art Basilisk Caller. 
Shameless charlatan. Uh, I can't. Cannot say that ten, ten times fast. And then foil extended art. Kindred Discovery. All right. So that was a collector booster box. Um, we have ten minutes left. Uh, I do not have an ETA on the Fortnite Secret Lair. Not that we don't know when it is. It's just not public yet. Um, all right. So do we want to see set boosters? Do we want to see draft boosters? I technically have more collector boosters if that's what chat wants to see for the next ten minutes. What do you think, chat? What kind of boosters you want? And I agree, the rule book style is is really cool. That lightning bolt. That lightning bolt. All right, we got one vote for collector. All right, do more collector. Sold. It's all it took. Two votes. Uh, can I open the commander deck? I, okay, so what, yeah, I didn't do, I'll do that real quick. Um, so I didn't open the deck itself, but I can crack it real quick. Pop that off. All right, so you got that. And then uh, you got a couple foils right up top. There's the actual deck. And then you get down here, and you got this thicker stock commander so it's a little thicker and then you got your tokens some kobold some yeah some of that stuff that's that if there's any particular piece you wanted to see like this is pretty thick uh, it goes right with that um which is the better collector or booster? So I mean, like it, it it depends on you. It depends on what you're looking for. That's that's kind of the idea of creating a bunch of different types of boosters. Um, you know, I per I, I personally like collector boosters because they're super fun. Um, what's cool about this one and what we've been improving with every set is just the variety you get in a collector booster. You know, these are all different slots. You get um, 12 different kinds of cards in here, so you really get everything the set has to offer. Um, and you get different variations, and it's a lot of fun. Uh, that said, there you can get all of almost all of this stuff, not the extended art, um, in all the other packs. And so if you want a draft experience, you get the draft boosters. If you just want to experience the set as a whole, um, set boosters. And of course, they come at different price points too. So it depends on um, what you want to spend. And then that's, ooh, demon. And so that's, that's why we do these shows. So you can get a sense of what it is and, and decide for yourself what what you want. Love that the diamonds are in this slot. Little charcoal diamond. I'm trying to decide if this makes my dragon deck or not. That was that was me pausing and staring at it. Just live thinking about my own commander decks on the show. Yes, the thick commander is the new oversized commander. It is effectively a replacement for that. That copy art's really cool too. Uh, why were the pre-release changed from five packs to three? Because it's supposed to be draft. So, for, so each of the draft packs is 20 cards instead of 14 or 15. And then you're supposed to draft with uh, three other players at least. So that's why. It's a different pre-release experience. And so different number of packs. Uh, uh, yeah, the list has not been updated. We are working to get that up as soon as possible. But there was an error with the data. And so we are... Getting that up as soon as we can. Asterian's thirst into Asterian, 
into Alondo, into Gale, Waterdeep, Prodigy. Choose a background. I'm trying to decide if this goes into my uh, all foil Azami deck. On one hand, it's a three mana wizard. And hey, this one's foil. You could use this one. Um, whenever you cast an insert sorcery spell from your hand, you may cast up to one target card of the same t of the other type from your graveyard. The deck doesn't actually have that many instants and sorceries in it because it's pretty. It's actually pretty creature focused. So I don't know if his ability does anything in that deck. Now the bronze walrus, on the other hand, that's going in every deck possible because it's a walrus. Yeah, I was when we initially showed these off. This and Lightning Bolt. I was super excited to show um, Fireball. It's you know it's just such an iconic spell, and yeah, it's not a card you're going to play in Constructed Commander a whole lot of the time unless you're you know making Infinite Mana or something like that or playing one of the X spell commanders. Um, but man, if you find a use for it, it's really cool. Lots of Bane, lots of Miracle, extended Asterian's Thirst. All right, we've got about four minutes left. Are all the bundles going forward going to be set boosters? Um, don't know that we've said anything about that publicly. Um, they are currently, I'll say they are currently, Foil Nature's Lore. I know that makes a lot of people happy at Common. Mountain, Amber, Gristle, Omal. All kinds of gale. Journey, Wonder, Rog, 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 I really like this card too, actually. It is, it reminds, even though it's not the same, it, re it reminds me of Recurring Nightmare. Now, the Exile of Creature you Control prevents it from being that sort of um, repeatable engine, but you can exile tokens and um, exile other creatures you don't care about. Um, I'm pretty high on that card. Really excited for that one. All right. The, I, did, I did get an amber. All right. Last pack, and then we'll, yeah, we'll call it a, call it a day. All right, we got a knight with a treasure. Boom. Ghastly Death Tyrant, Hoarding Ogre, Guardian Naga, little Burnished Heart action, Spoils, Island, a lot of Duodrons today, a lot of Duodrons today, Guild Artisan, there we go, Ancient Bronze Dragon, lots of plus one plus one counters, Astral Dragon, a lot of cool things you can do with that, Extended Bountiful Promenade, that's nice, Miracle, here we go, another Legion Loyalty. And Caves of Chaos Adventure. All right. We're going to call that a show. Thanks for hanging out and opening some packs with us. Um, I had fun because, you know what? Opening packs is fun. And, yeah. This is a cool set. Um, check with your local game store about pre-release events this weekend. Reminder, it is a draft event. Um, they, they may run, some stores may end up having to run things sealed depending on how things are run. Um, but check with your local game store. Uh, it's set up, this is a really cool set to draft. So if you have the ability to draft it, I highly recommend it. And then it releases globally the weekend of the 9th, which is next week. And a reminder that Magic Fest, or sorry, not Magic Fest, uh, Command Fest Las Vegas is going to have all of these events that weekend. So if you want to check this out, if you're around Vegas or can get there next week, I highly recommend Command Fest then. Uh, in the meantime, next week our show is going to have the one and only Ben Wheeler on to talk singleton formats. We'll talk about Commander Legends uh, cards that he's excited about for those singleton formats. And who knows what else we'll talk about. If you know Ben Wheeler, you know that man can talk about anything magic related. Uh, we'll probably get into some esoteric debate about alliances and uh, type two back in the day because we're both old. Uh, anyway, 
Come back for that next week. Thank you. This has been uh, super fun. See you next week.